I know you're all disappointed not to see Jeff today, and I'm disappointed too, as are his wonderful parents, Mort and Judy Skoll, his wonderful parents who raised a wonderful son to be the remarkable philanthropist that he has become. But honestly, it's Jeff himself who is most disappointed. He so wanted to be here in one of the world's great libraries to stand with you, this extraordinary community of Carnegie medalists working to solve the world's most pressing problems. And he would have been thrilled to see Big Bird and Yo-Yo Ma. He's made documentaries about both Sesame Street and about the Silk Road Ensemble. This honor is especially meaningful to Jeff. As you saw in the film, John Gardner gave him great advice, advice that has stood the test of time. Many of you know that Gardner served as advisor to five American presidents, but he began his work here at the Carnegie Corporation where he served for 19 years, 10 years as president. Like you, Vartan, a great leader. And like Andrew Carnegie, Jeff was inspired as a youngster by the power of books and stories to illuminate important issues and spur societal progress. He held on to that insight. So once he'd made his fortune with eBay, he saw his path. Jeff founded the Skull Foundation not just to find and support social entrepreneurs driving change on poverty, disease, and injustice, but to make their stories known. Ever the entrepreneur, he also launched participant media dedicated to the idea that good storytelling can help us recognize and respond to the call to make things right, right here, right now, in our communities and in the world. If he were here, Jeff would have had a great story or two up his sleeve, stories that would have made you think and have made you laugh. Instead, you have the three of us and although I have been with him on his philanthropic journey since 2001, and his parents have been with him from the very start, I still cannot crack a joke the way he would. So let me share a bit about the remarkable man I've come to know and come to love. Yes, he's one witty guy, the kind who will put you at your ease, but keep you on your toes. He's humble about himself, but hugely ambitious for those big breakthroughs that will solve the world's big problems. And finally, he's way too smart not to be worried about the risks before us. You've heard about many of them, you know them, but he's just as determined to keep fighting the good fight. He's simply too entrepreneurial, too creative, and too inspired by people like you and all those John Gardner called tough-minded optimists. Let me include in that very special category our Skoll family members here today. In addition to Jeff's parents, his sister Heather Skoll is here. And my colleagues from the Jeff Skoll group, Lindsay Spindle, who heads the group, Tina Tanzane, and Corey Gansley. We're a tight and loving and very proud Skoll family. Thank you, Vartan, and everyone at the Carnegie Family of Institutions. Thank you to all my wonderful colleagues at all our Jeff Skoll organizations. And thank you especially to all those whose work and whose stories will help bring about Jeff's vision for a more peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable world, a good world, to beckon us onward. Thank you.